Since we're moving into talking about the camera, it's important to get a little terminology in here. One is the camera view. The camera view refers to this area of the interface where you're actually seeing, you know, the pictures that you're going to be seeing and it it's referenced by this word here, camera that you're seeing in your view because the camera view appears not only within this timeline workspace but in your drawing workspace also that's still labeled camera view. So when you hear reference to camera view it's not referring to one of the separate workspaces it's referring to this area within those workspaces. One other thing that's very important for thinking about the camera is using this camera status bar. I find this incredibly useful uh, for no matter what I'm doing in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So to enable that, you want to go to Preferences. Within Preferences, you're going to go over to Camera. And within the Camera section, make sure that you have checked off Show Status Bar. And that's going to be really useful uh, throughout all the work that you do in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. You also need to know where the camera tool is and the camera tool is within the tools toolbar and it's this one with the little camera icon on it and if you press that you'll have access to the camera tool which we'll demonstrate shortly. I just want to point out that depending on how you have your interface arranged this whole toolbar might be uh, floating around like this in which case you'll find it near the end of the toolbar or it might be docked in one of the places up above in which case again just look for that on the toolbar if you can't find that camera toolbar you go over to windows and then toolbars and then uncheck tools that will make it disappear so windows and toolbars and then tools that's where the camera tool button can be found. To show you some of the important features on this camera toolbar, I'm going to maximize this by hitting the little down arrow, which always uh, can temporarily get rid of the smaller view that's underneath, whether that be the thumbnail view or the timeline view. So I'm just going to open that up and we'll take a look here. The first thing you have is a grid and it will show you the standard animation 12 field grid. Uh, you could change this grid under the view menu under grid you could change it to a 16 field 12 field or a square grid a lot of these changes can be made in the view area but now I'm just gonna tick that one and make it disappear right here this is a, a safety boundary for TV safe and title cutoff I'll turn that off this is for uh, 4 to 3 ratio safety so that you can make sure that you're working in both widescreen and full screen possibilities with title safe etc and this one is just a standard 4 to 3 area so that you can tell which areas are the widescreen area and then where the letterbox edges will be cut off and this button here is the camera mask I like to use this every once in a while just to see what the framing looks like when you when you have a lot of things drawn outside of the framing sometimes it will seem wider than it is so when I put this on I can be sure that my framing is going to be right there's also buttons on here for resetting the rotation which is that one resetting the view itself you can control the size and you can also just go fit to view and it'll fit that in there. So there's a variety of things that happen on this toolbar including it shows you which tool you're currently using and which color you are currently using. 